I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in New York City for REIT Week 2014. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Jim Heisten, the President and CEO of Parkway Properties. Jim, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Uh, I'd like to start by looking at the, the bigger picture. <clears throat> Talk about some of the macro trends that are impacting your portfolio and, and how you see them evolving going forward. As the recoveries occurred, it's, it's not been uniform. Okay, so we've, you know, initially saw, started seeing signs of recovery in the more in the Texas markets, energy being a big part of it, um, then Phoenix, and now it's you know we're in the Sun Belt, so it's kind of worked its way east. So that I would say between now and a year ago, the recovery and the growth is more uniform. It's it's throughout all of our markets. So we're in Charlotte, Atlanta, Houston, Austin, Phoenix, and all the major markets in Florida. And for the first time, I can tell you, in some time, I can all of them are kind of hitting on all cylinders right now. So it's you know it's the best we felt in some time, especially coming the NARE. Can you tell us a little bit about last year's acquisition of Thomas Property <coughs> Group? How it changed the company and how the integration has gone? Well, one of the things we had we had told the market that we looked to get into the Austin markets. We had no presence in the Austin market, and, and our strategy generally is to get scale in a market. So we don't really want to go in and buy one building. So the Thomas portfolio offers us opportunity to get not only get into the Austin market, but to get in scale. We had five buildings, almost two and a half million square feet. Very hard to aggregate that one at a time. Um, <clears throat> and I will tell you that Thomas, you know, knowing the history of Parkway, wouldn't have considered Parkway as a target because the, the gentleman, Jim Thomas, has taken $120 million worth of our shares. So his perception of Parkway was kind of old Parkway. So we were able to get him on a plane show them all of our assets all over the country and I think that helped make the transaction for us um, and I think he's been very happy with it since but it really gave us a much better and dominance position in Texas that we that we didn't have before. And, and lastly when, when we discuss you know sort of generally the office sector a lot of attention obviously gets focused on you know core markets like like New York City here but can you talk about some of the secondary markets and, and, and the positive trends that you're seeing? In Austin and Phoenix we're seeing an exit from the California markets. So we're getting a lot of, it. generally in the Sun Belt, we're getting a lot of in-migration from, the, from the, the Northeast to Midwest, and now we're seeing it from California from a high-tech component. Um, so in Phoenix and Austin, we've seen an awful lot of in-migration of tech users into those markets from California. Um, in our Jacksonville market, a lot of the suburban financial services back offices from that we used to be in uh, uh, suburban New Jersey and New York are now in Jacksonville, Deutsche Bank, Merrill Lynch, J.P. Morgan, Fidelity all have huge back of the house operations in Jacksonville. So um, Pulte Homes just relocated their headquarters uh, from Illinois into our Buckhead in Atlanta project. So I'd say, you know, we're seeing more job growth on average in the nation, even some of the major markets. And I think the perception is that, well, you know, you can just continue to build, to, to build. but you know, I've been in New York for a few days and they're building plenty here. It just takes more, it take, it's more expensive to build. And I think some of the markets that we're in, some of the high density markets that we're in, it's the same way in our place as well too. And, and there is no development going on in our markets with the exception of Houston. And do you think investors are starting to, to kind of catch <clears> on to that? Without a doubt, capital is coming to our markets. Um, more and more people are interested in acquiring assets. I think the, the perception that the, that the, or not the belief that the fundamentals have really improved and have taken hold uh, people are beginning to believe it, and you're seeing more and more capital come into our markets. Jim, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.